This is the morning office for February 26th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 79, verses 1 to 9. O God, the heathen have come into your inheritance. They have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of rubble. They have given the bodies of your servants as food for the birds of the air and the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the field. They have shed their blood like water on every side of Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, an object of scorn and derision to those around us. How long will you be angry, O Lord? Will your fury blaze like fire forever? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen who have not known you, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and made his dwelling a ruin. Remember not our past sins. Let our compassion, let your compassion be swift to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Help us, O God our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. I turn to the Lord God to seek an answer by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession, saying, Ah, Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments. We have sinned and done wrong, acted wickedly and rebelled, turned aside from your commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Righteousness is on your side, O Lord, but open shame, as at that day falls on us, the people of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and all Israel those who are near and those who are far away, in all the lands to which you have driven them, because of the treachery that they have committed against you. Open shame, O Lord, falls on us, our kings, our officials, and our ancestors, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, for we have rebelled against him and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God by following his laws, which he set before his servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought about silence today revolves around the silence of the morning. I've always been an early riser and have long treasured those moments early in the morning when everything is still. It's as if there's a stillness before action. You know it can't last. Something will happen. The, the day will begin. The world will begin. And the noise of the world will 
be borne in upon us. But just for those few moments, I think we have an echo of the first day of creation, that time when before God began to create, there was perfect stillness. It is perhaps a hint of the power of God that we know what will follow. And so we treasure all the more those fleeting moments when stillness reigns before the noise and the heat and the busyness of the day begin. I ask for your prayers for the day, the world, and the church. Pray for all those needs of others that you know. Pray that the needs of others will be more fully revealed to you. Pray that the world will be made more, more known, that, that we will come to understand better the lives of those who are far from us, those who seem to be completely unlike us. We will come to have a greater compassion for those who seem to be the least like us in their lives and their ways. And pray also for the church, for those who worship differently from us, for those whom we consider to be less Christian and those who consider us to be less Christian because we worship in different ways. Pray for the unity of the church. Let your spirit, O Lord, come into the midst of us to wash us with the pure water of repentance and prepare us to be always a living sacrifice to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>